Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to contact Uber customer service. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, the first thing you need to do here is you need to open up the Uber app. In this case, I'm going to open it up. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to access our account, but just look at it at the bottom right of your screen. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the help option that you see at the top of your screen. Now from here, you should be able to see different categories for uh, articles that is related to uh, basically uh, to issues that you'll be encountering on the Uber app. Now in this case, maybe I want to say I have a problem on my account. Let's go and choose account here. Now from here, you should be able to see different categories again, which in this case, you need to access the correct one. Because in this case, for you to contact customer service, you need to select the correct categories here. Now in this case, depending on the category or article that you'll be choosing here, a following information or following details will be requested from you. So it's actually tailored on that specific problem. Like for example, let's go and choose the option that says other payment support. Now from here, maybe I want to say you want to clear an outstanding payment. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now in this case, at the very bottom, you should be able to see the submit form option. In this case, the first choice of payment here, second choice payment, and share additional details. Also, if you want to uh, want Uber to manually charge the payment method listed above uh, for exciting payments, you can go ahead and allow that and just click on submit once you provide all the details. Again, the option to uh, contact support would actually depend on the article that you are accessing. For example, maybe I want to say check an sounding charge and from here you should be able to see can we help with anything else. In this case, once you click on no here, it's going to or basically if you click yes, otherwise in this case if you click yes here, you'll be able to actually uh, be rejected to another page. In this case, you need to provide all the details required again. But in some cases, this might not work correctly in uh, some cases. So in this case, if you don't see the option to contact Uber customer support, in this case, uh, yeah, you won't be able to contact them. But in this case, make sure to access the correct article or categories here for you to contact them. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.